Polysaccharides contain as few as 10 or as many as several thousand monosaccharide units joined together by glycoside bonds. The most common polysaccharides are starch and cellulose. In this video, we will compare some of the different structural features of starch and cellulose. Starch is a major component of such things as flour, potatoes, rice, beans, corn, and peas. Starch is a mixture of two different polysaccharides. Amylose comprises about 20% of starch, whereas amylopectin comprises about 80% of starch. Amylose is a series of glucose units connected by alpha-1,4 glycoside bonds. Amylose has an unbranched chain of glucose units. On the other hand, amylopectin is an alpha-1,4 glycoside bond series of glucose units. However, amylopectin has side branches with alpha-1,6 glycoside bonds coming off of the main chain of glucose units. Glycogen is a type of starch found in animals. It is more highly branched than amylopectin. One of the advantages of having a more highly branched source of glucose is that it's easier to remove many glucose units at once from the ends of the side chains. This allows animals to get glucose units much faster when they need it. This figure represents the difference between amylopectin and glycogen. We see that the amylopectin does have branching side chains, but the glycogen has many more shorter side chains. But because of this, there are many ends of the glycogen where an, a glucose unit can be easily removed. While starch is typically a glucose storage unit and a source of energy in plants and animals, cellulose provides primarily structural components for plants. Cotton, for example, is composed of about 90% cellulose, and wood is about 50% cellulose. Like amylose, cellulose is composed of unbranched chains of D-glucose units. However, one of the key differences between cellulose and amylose is that in cellulose, the glucose units are joined by beta-1,4 glycoside bonds rather than the alpha-1,4 glycoside bonds that we found in amylose. This is an important difference in understanding why animals, specifically mammals, can digest starch, but they cannot digest cellulose. Mammals have enzymes known as alpha-glucosidase, which hydrolyzes the alpha-1,4 glycoside bonds. This allows animals, mammals, to break down amylose, amylopectin, or glycogen. However, mammals lack the beta-glucosidase enzyme needed to hydrolyze cellulose. There are animals that can consume cellulose-containing materials and get energy from it, such as cows or horses. They can do this because they have bacteria within their digestive systems that possess beta-glucosidase and allows them to break down the cellulose and then derive some energy from it. 